I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading from, for Saturday, May 23rd, comes from Psalm 93. The Lord reigns. He is robed in mystery. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. Yea, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Thy throne is established from old. Thy art for, from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roar. Mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. The decrees are very sure. Holiness befits thy house, O Lord, forevermore. The word of the Lord. God's majesty in creation. Majestic on high is the Lord, verse 4. Majesty describes mighty power, beauty, authority. We're familiar with the titles His Majesty and Her Majesty for royalty. Our majestic God, however, has authority beyond that of any earthly government. The psalm portrays the Lord as more majestic than floods, thundering waters, and the waves of the sea. God's decree are sure. God's house is holy. Elsewhere, Scripture assures us that God's holiness reveals as goodness stronger than systems of evil, salvation more powerful than sin, and life mightier than death. Signs of our Lord's majesty abound in this world. Snow-capped mountains, bogs and marshes, wind-filled grasslands, echoing canyons, and arid deserts. Skies filled with rays of sun, clouds of all varieties, stars that sparkle, northern lights, planets that spin through space. Yet even the most impressive and powerful aspect of creation pale in comparison to the majesty of our God, which someday we will see firsthand. Let us pray. Holy and almighty God, we bow to your authority and to your majesty displayed in creation. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.